Broadcasting the fourth annual Rancho Santa Fe Pro Amateur Golf Tournament, sponsored by Bing Crosby. Well, how am I doing, folks? This, <clears throat> uh, this event. Hello, oh, Andy Wandy. Mary Treen, what are you doing here? Can't you see I've got enough on my mind already? Not as much as you've got on that putt putt. Now listen, Mary, I'm broadcasting a golf tournament, and I don't want to be fooling around. Imagine a man who'd rather fool around a golf tournament than just fool around. What are you made up for, anyway? Oh, I always dress for the occasion. You know, sailing suits for yachting, alpine suits for yodeling. It's a you know. good thing you're not going to pick it for a union. Yes, isn't it? What? Oh, don't be Socratic. I read where the boys were going after birdies and eagles, so I donned my hunting habit. Well, sit down before they see all of it. Oh, that's not all of it. They made me check my gun at the gate. But I think there's other game I can bag. <laughs> Meaning what? Oh, hunting I will go, hunting oh, I will go. Oh, you're going to spoil everything? Well, as I was about to say, folks, Rancho Santa Fe, with its beautiful fairway and greens, presents one of the sportiest and toughest courses in Southern California. More than 300 golfers from all over the world have come here to take a crack at old man Parr. That's cool. They take a crack at Parr, I'll tell Ma. And I'll tell her brother. Oh, simmer down, will you, Mary? Button up your gun. You're all mixed up now. The practice fairways where the sands of time hit you right in the eye. Where the grass is green and the air is blue. And the duffers suffer as I and you. Some hook, some slice. Some stamp. And some just whiff. Like Wilbur Dub, who misses the ball and gets a call from a miss. Oh, gracious. Now take it easy, Wilbur. It's very simple. All you have to do is to keep your head down, keep your left arm stiff, go back very slow on your back swing, pivot properly, shift your weight from your right foot to your left foot, flick your wrist, follow through. That's all there is to it. And a 15-yard penalty for holding. No, I'm going to bop you. Three strikes and he's out. Wilbur, you better join the gallery and let the experts show you how. They're going to tee off pretty quick, so you'll have to hurry. Sure. Who are they? Well, that's the cat. He's greeting Bing and his guests. I bet I know what song Bing will sing. How many know what you sing? Well, what do they sing? My heart belongs to Caddy. Oh. Hey, there's a groaner now. My pal Bing Crosby, who can swing it with a mic or a mashing. Look, he's betting on a horse. I wonder what he's got in the third. He pays his green fee and gets his number like anybody else. Number? Did you say number? Yes, I said number. He also foots the bill. Oh, say, I can't find my fountain pen. I've got to go find it, I guess. Why? But Bing may want my autograph. Oh, well, maybe he'll want you to write your autobiography, too. Now, run along and write it, Mary. Print a book. Do something, but get out of here. Bing beats three of us paunchy putters. Scotty Chisholm, Clarence Buddington Kellen, and Ty Cobb, the Georgia Peach. Okay, Ty, you're up next. The peach goes to bat on the wrong side of the plate, but that's the right side for Southpaw Ty. This is no time for a bunt. Knock it over the fence. 
Cuddy is also left-handed and bets his last kilt he can outdrive Cobb. True to his nature, Scotty doesn't waste motions. Hootman, he killed it! Yuck, 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 yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Good luck, boys. Hope Scotty finds his ball. Here comes Hattie, setting the pace for Wilbur. Lots of dogs have fleas, but that's the first one I've ever seen with a golf bug. Yuck, 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 yuck. Well, now, lady... Oh, gee, are you back? Sure. You didn't have to dial me in. Did you find your fountain? Did you find your fountain pen? No, did you lose one? Did I lose one? What did you go to look for? Huh. Oh, I found something there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to see some of the world's famous champions drive off. Drive right off to where? Oh, nowhere. Just drive. Oh, I hope they didn't forget their driver's license. Oh, I wish there was a license to commit murder. I'd buy a dozen up and use them all on you. Oh, darling, you say the sweetest mm -hmm. thing. Oh. Meet Jimmy Demerit from Houston. He gets a Texas distance into his drive. Harold McSpaden from Winchester, Mass. The way he smacks that ball, you'd think it was shot from a Winchester. Big time loss and little. Long off the tee and short on a scorecard. Our host plays a hook and eye shot. He eyes the ball. Then tells us he hooked it. There's poor old Scotty still looking for his ball. Can't he use another one? Oh, not Scotty. He's been using that same ball for the last 20 years. Thank you, Dad. Well, there's always an end to everything. Bing laces a long one from another tee. Right down the middle. Ah, shot to croon about. Come on, Wilbur. Watch Bing play a mashie and iron a wrinkle out of your game. <laughs> Joke. Come on, Bing, old boy. Sink this one and you've got a birdie. T -t -t Take it easy now. <laughs> Quiet, Hattie. Doggone you. It's going, going. Yoo-hoo! He made it. Whereupon Bing goes Najinsky and does the ballet of the sunken birdie. Who's that, Bing, your caddy? He looks old enough to be your daddy. Say, I'm his dad. This is my son, Larry, and my son, Ted. It looks like the Crosby's against the field. He's still at it. I wonder where that ball got to. You'd be surprised. Where are we going? Over to the clubhouse. Some of the boys are waiting to tee off. I thought we'd go over and watch them warm up. Well, just so they warm up to me, it's all right. I said putty, not patty. All right, pet. Hey, stop it! I can't stop it. Whoa! You won't stop. You can't shake me off that way. Now, what are you doing? You'd upset everything. Oh, oh, oh. the wrong way. Oh, look out. Oh, oh. Oh, this thing won't stop. Look out. Here we go again. Now oh, hold on. I'm certainly disappointed. Not an eagle or a birdie's flown by. Well, maybe you scared him away. I've seen buzzards that were better looking than you are. What? Uh, nothing. Hey, look. Bud Ward from Spokane, amateur champion of the United States. Those are the strong hands that give him his marvelous control. I'll still take a sailor. Jimmy McClarnon, former welterweight king, puts one down for the count. Would you say a few words, Jimmy? Uh, that's right, Jimmy. That's what I always said. Hey, who's he? That's Marshall Duffield, former All-American quarterback of the University of Southern California. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad, eh, girl? Just a fickle blonde, probably spoons and mashies behind every divot. <laughs> Say, I'll take brunettes. Who's he? That's Byron Nelson, National Open champ. He shows us how to drive one, chip one, and sink a putt. Watch it, Wilbur. Well, even us champs miss sometimes. 
Here's Leo Deagle. He's stymied, but give him a little elbow room, folks, and he'll show us how. Uh, looks like this pooch goes for balls instead of bones. I guess Wilbur's afraid Hattie will make a fur paw. Fox pass. Fur paw. Get it? Yeah, I get it, but you can keep it. Look. Clayton Hafner, Linville, North Carolina. Southern boy, eh? Well, shut my mouth. What do you mean by pulling an old one like that to distract a great player? He needs to concentrate on his drives and... Oh, now look what you've done. You've made him drive his ball right into a tree. Why, he's a regular Tarzan. That's the first sensible thing you've said. He's known as Tarzan Hefner for playing shots like that.